Pagdating sa properties, ang space you belt ng major homes ang 3-in-1. It's a condo, dorm, and hotel that operates as one. A condo na pwedeng iparent like a dorm with the services of a hotel. Morning, guys. I'm here with the president of Major Homes, Mr. Quinto Oreda. Hi, Quinto. Hi, hi, Pia. Welcome to our brand new office. Yeah, thanks for having us here. It's actually a really nice place. Thank you, thank you. We moved in about uh, four months ago, and uh, we should uh, inaugurate or bless our office uh, by mid-December. Mm -hmm. Really excited to be here. Well, congratulations on that. But thank you. we're really very interested to know more about your Space U belt. Awesome. The University Belt Project is actually the fourth installment of our very popular uh, Condormitel series. The Condormitel is a brand new animal in real estate. It sounds really weird, but actually it's quite simple. Uh, it's a condominium that's operated as a dormitory, uh, and it's a full service. It has property uh, management tied in with the entire development. So it allows, what it is actually is that it's a very sophisticated and sustainable uh, investment. So we really coined the condormital concept a panghabang buhay na hanap buhay because it, you can liken it to buying a, a sari-sari store that you never need to buy goods for or run. Or you can liken it, I, I love saying this, you can liken it to buying a jeepney that, you, that does not depreciate, that is not prone to accidents, that you don't have to hire your tito to, uh, to drive it. So it's really a, a, an excellent, innovative way to make sure that your money not only uh, is safe, but actually grows. There are many people involved in Condormitel setup, right? Sure. There's an investor who buys the sure. condominium unit. Sure, let, let me walk you through that. Okay. So uh, uh, the broad base of our market are really our OFWs. The Condormitel was really built, the product was built to address their specific needs and their pain points, meaning they're only away, you know, they spend the best years of their lives away from their families and the, yeah, the social cost of this is substantial. What we've built is really a product that ensures, it's really a forced saving product and it has two components. It has a very, very aggressive rental yield, okay? Why is it as an uh, aggressive rental yield? It's aggressive and it's sustainable. It's aggressive in the sense that you can liken it to the sachet model. We're very, very familiar with sachets. Yeah. Filipinos, we are a we culture of sachets exactly. from cigarettes. I think that's the most popular to even alcohol now, they sachet. Yeah. So it's very important that we understand that, you know, it, it's, it's a culture of lowest total cost of ownership. I just want a bite-sized piece. I can't Tinge. Tinge. And we know that from a businessman standpoint, the tinge, the sum of the thing is much more expensive than the wholesale price, okay? So that's why the rental yield is so, uh, I guess, so attractive. It's so high because you're buying 15 square meters, okay, of condormital space. And mind you, all of our condormitals are fully furnished. It's really geared for the OFW, eh? But they don't have to buy furniture, they don't have to lease it out, they don't have to buy appliances, sheets, and everything else. Everything is fully furnished. So it has a very aggressive rental yield because you're buying wholesale, yet when you rent it out, it's tinge. Kunwari, ako yung investor, tapos mm -hmm. interesado kung bumili ng isang condominium unit sa'yo. Sure. And then I pay you, uh, let's say, the 1.5 million. Sure. And then what happens? Kami, we as I said a while ago, Pia, we cater specifically to OFWs. Bakit? Okay. Bakit kami OFW? Our brand is really strongly attached to OFWs. Bakit? Uh, we're very particular about the monthly payments. Okay. okay. Yun so, kung standard? Yun kung dormital namin is about mga 1.2 to 1.5 million pesos. Fully furnished yan. But, naintindihan naman namin na mabigat yan na bayaran ng outright cash. Correct. So, ang monthly amortization or ang payments niyan, is not usually exceeding 15,000 pesos a month. Okay. okay? So you're paying 15,000 pesos a month until turnover. Yes. Turnover, you uh, either take out a loan, take out in-house financing, pag ibig financing is available in order to pay the uh, turnover balance. And then you enroll it in the Dormtel program. Okay? okay? Nothing else to buy, ah, kasi it comes fully furnished. Okay. It comes fully furnished with the three dormitory beds. Yes with its own toilet, 
and shower with its own mini ref, with its own uh, LED TV, wow. and its own air conditioner. Okay. So it's enrolled in the dormitory program. For precisely. Um, and then we run the dormitory program for you. Okay? The yield Which is. Which means, kayo maghahanap ng renta, kayo maghahanap. Hindi na kame kukuha ng commission sa rent. That usually that's how it's done. Eh. Mm -hmm. You're charged eh, if you lease out your land. Dami nating OFW jan. May mga unit, may mga unit dito. Alam na alam nila yan. Na ang charge jan is one month's rent for every year na ma, na, na mapaupahan yung unit nila by a broker. That's the broker's fees. We did away with that. We have a management fee na lang. Okay, the management fee is almost as expensive as the condominium corporation juice okay. okay so you na lang it will take care of the upkeep maintenance okay. just so it's a fixed fee we're so excited about the area that it will feature a mall with the theater okay in the in the basement in a podium basically of the entire development so all of our buildings really it's an upgrade currently and when you take a look at the the market um, they currently stay in 10 10 students in one room, okay? Puro lalaki, puro babae, and then they share a small aircon, they share a small bathroom. Eh, paano mangyayari niyan? 8 o'clock ang, ang pasok ng lahat yan. So, talaga may pila sa banyo. You have to wake up so early just to take a shower, and it's, you know, relatively unsafe and not very clean. Yeah. So, this is really a departure. It's really an upgrade from this facility. Because you have your own. You have a mall in the ground floor. You're walking distance from your school. It's probably right behind you. Okay, you have a theater. You have all the modern conveniences. You have a you, you have a uh, a uh, a convenience store. You have a food court in the ground floor. And then you go up to the amenity floor. Okay, of the building. You have a swimming pool. You have a gym. You have a, um, you have a lounge and a library and an outdoor dining area. And then you have a nice, instead of sharing the room with 10 people, now you're sharing the room with either two or three people. You have your own toilet, okay? Um, High-speed elevators, closed-circuit television cameras, access control via... So, it's really a more conducive environment for... Makes me want to go study Go again. back to school. <laughs> more conducive environment for, for studying and for students. Yeah. We say that it's sustainable because what happens when every student graduates, another student comes in. Yeah. It's perpetual, and then it's real estate. So it has an in, it has inherent asset value appreciation. You know, you buy real estate to flip, right? You wait for it to appreciate. You know, it, it guards against inflation, and then you flip. You make money. So it has all of that, plus this rental income, this very very strong rental income, and then we manage the entire thing for you. All you have to do is wait for your rental check. We've sold more than a thousand of these all over the world. We feel that uh, it's just a very strong and compelling value proposition, specifically targeting our middle market, okay, or our middle income professionals. Well, Kinto, I'm glad that we had this chat. It was such a pleasure to just hear your thoughts and such innovative ideas. Thank you. We wish you well on all your projects. They're very worthwhile for OFWs, Thank our present-day heroes. Thank Thanks you. For your I time. agree, I agree. Thank you.